This is Star Talk. The whole model of education as information transfer makes no sense. It makes no sense, right? And you've thought about this. You founded, you you co-founded a university, a brand new university in Canada, and I hear you're at it again in some other place. Where? In the UK. Yeah. In the UK. Just yeah. tell me what you would, because you didn't just come out of nowhere, out of a cave, to say this. Mm -hmm. You put you 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 did it. What did you do? And are you being sued by the New York Attorney General? <laughs> okay. Just, no, go ahead. <laughs> That's the other guy. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Um. Well, yes. So the idea is instead of feeding people information, you have them construct knowledge, mm. they construct their own knowledge out of what they know and a little bit of guidance shoving them down a path. It takes much longer. It's much harder. It's much harder. It, it takes much longer. You, get, I'm, I'm you know, still, it doesn't matter if you don't have to transfer all this information because right, it's much, all there. Much longer and harder. I'm going to take you up on that because I'm, I'm not sure if I understand what you mean when you say construct your own knowledge. OK, I'll give you a good example. We're, we're we can talk about astronomy. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when we discovered all these planets around other stars. Right. And that's... that's so planets. Um, so planets. That's amazing. Right? Yes, it is. 20 years ago, we knew no planets except ours. Now we know it. So how did we do that? Well, we have to know how planets move. So Kepler figured this out in 1610, you know, figured out how planets move. He write down three laws of planetary motion. So at Columbia, I... Go to the blackboard, I write down the three laws of planetary motion, and my students all copy them down, even though it's sitting in the $150 textbook next to them, but they write them all down. <laughs> and then I say, how long does it take the Earth to go around the sun? Right. And they sort of look at me, and finally someone says, uh, a year? And I say, well, let's see if that works. And you plug in the numbers of the period and the semi-major axis of the eclipse, and they write all that down. And then you send them home, and they do it for how long it takes Mars to go around the sun. Right. And, you know, then on the test, you make it real tricky. You say, how long does it take Europa to go around Jupiter, you know, and they mm. figure out to change the mass. But they get their A's, and they go away, and they're happy. That's just feeding information to people. Right? Gotcha. All right. So that takes 20 minutes. At Quest. Quest is the name of the university. In Canada, right. It's three-hour classes, five days a week, three hours a day. I walk into class. I give them this little simulation about planets going around other stars. It's got 15 parameters. They don't know what any of them are. Okay. I give them a sheet of a few questions to say, well, see what this, see what happens if you change this and keep this one fixed. I gotcha. Figure out what this I means here. And then I let them play. Gotcha. And three and a half hours later, they stayed a half hour after class, someone got up and wrote down Kepler's three laws. Wow. I never mentioned Kepler. Ooh. <laughs> I never mentioned three laws. Dude. That's they had constructed that. That's uh, freaking amazing. So therefore, they will not be susceptible to being handed information right. by others. That's right. That's now, they won't remember Kepler's laws. I don't remember Kepler. You remember Kepler's But the process laws? matters. But the right. process, process matters. matters. They remember, process you can look at, look at information. You can look for patterns in it. You can cast those patterns in a mathematical form. Right. And you can use that to predict the way something else behaves. Gotcha. And that's all you want and, them to do. And know. you're testing, and those are tools. It's a toolkit for learning how the world works. And right. you can probably construct one for biology and chemistry. Right. Hey, did you like that? Cool video, huh? Well, how about a bunch of cool videos, all commercial free, plus exclusive original content that you can't find anyplace else, all on StarTalkAllAccess.com.